I'm going to do another first chapter for you today. Um, so I'm going to be reading the first chapter of Shipwreck at the Bottom of the World by Jennifer Armstrong. I believe I did a book talk on this early, early in the year, um, but no one's checked it out. So I'm going to give you an opportunity to be reminded of what it is and hear a little bit about it. So this follows Ernest Shackleton and his crew. They were the first crew um, who tried to sail across the Antarctic in 1914. They were from England. Um, and as they are sailing across the Antarctic, something goes wrong. Their ship gets stuck and Shackleton and his crew have to find a way to survive. So I'm going to read from you the first chapter. Just imagine. Just imagine yourself in the most hostile place on Earth. It's not the Sahara or the Gobi Desert. It's not the Arctic. The most hostile place on Earth is the Antarctic, the location of the South Pole. The North Pole, South Pole, what's the difference? The Arctic is mostly water, with ice on top, of course, and that ice is never more than a few feet thick. But under the South Pole lies a continent that supports glaciers up to two miles in depth. Almost the entire southern continent is covered by ice. This mammoth ice cap presses down so heavily that it actually distorts the shape of the Earth. The ice never melts, it clings to the bottom of the world, spawning winds, storms, and weather that affect the whole planet. And of all the weather it creates, the weather the Antarctic creates for itself is by far the worst. In the winter, the temperature can sink to 100 degrees below zero Fahrenheit. Cold air masses sliding down the slides of the glaciers speed up until they become winds of close to 200 miles per hour. When winter descends on the southern continent, the seas surrounding the land begin to freeze at the terrifying rate of two square miles every minute until the frozen sea reaches an area of seven million square miles, about twice the size of the United States. It is truly the most hostile environment this side of the moon. Just imagine yourself stranded in such a place. In 1915, a British crew of 28 men was stranded there, with no ship and no way to contact the outside world. They all survived. So that's really the, um, the introduction to the book. As noted in the first chapter, all men did survive. There were no casualties from this adventure. So that's something that um, you tend to forget when you read it because you're so caught up in the action of it. But it was almost miraculous that all of these men made it. Um, one other thing that's cool, again, these uh, there were cameras on board the ship. So there are some pictures from it. And kind of you get an idea to see what was going on, how they were living, how they were surviving. Um, again, it is a nonfiction book. It's pretty small. It's got a lot of good information in it and it runs really quickly, almost like an adventure novel. So if you are looking for a nonfiction book or an adventure book, Shipwreck at the Bottom of the World by Jennifer Armstrong could be the book for you.